I want y'all to watch this video. Just the nigga right Jim Jackson. I've been talking about. I want y'all to listen. Because you gotta understand about who's evaluating the best compared to maybe. This one nigga right fucked up. This when he exposed himself. Players who played against some of the top tier players. Cut it up a little bit for y'all. Appreciate this. Playing in the NFL, it was certain guys. Got a football player. You got Jim Jackson's a pro basketball player. Yes. You got a nigga that don't know about basketball. Nigga right. That's a that's a writer. Jim Jackson, a football player. Dale Carter, man, cornerback. Man, that dude gave me some props. These people, these they won't trust the ex out Jim Jackson. Jim Jackson ain't been on this show since this since this episode. He just didn't. Oh, like three or four years ago. Longevity or consistency, but. Shoot, Dion, much respect. Dale Carter, shoot. Yeah, but, 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 here's my thing, though. But with Dion, a cover corner was different than. Yes, different style. Diff and, and different than a Ronnie Lott. Why? Yes. Mm -hmm. so, 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 talk to me then, because so okay. you're, you're leading up to something here. So, well, tell me why, as a player. Well, well because, because the, the players, we evaluate another player a lot different. It's not just so based, how do you, it's based, okay. it's not just based on them. So I know you love to put these blind reveals, reveals yeah. together. So I put one together. Oh, wow. yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Oh, one, my but, God. And that, this, this one doesn't, day. This one doesn't back, tell see that. everything I wanted to put in. Uh -huh. But he got points. Hold on. Can I what get is this? They're, they're MVP, points and titles. And titles. Okay, you look at this and you say, okay, well, we can have a conversation about who's the best. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, I, you, you can't you know this. Who these guys are. The you, first one's on. Jordan, the third one's LeBron, and okay. the, the second guy, third all time in points, right. that's Kobe. Kobe. Okay, but you're wrong. Nick Wright, so he's wrong. This, this oh, no, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Jim Jackson. Yes, you are. Oh, it's Kareem. Oh, okay. Oh, because. Nick don't even know their own stats on his own show. Niggas, niggas, that dumb. As a player, I view things totally different than because I was in generation with Michael, with Kobe and LeBron, mm -hmm. and how I view it is a little bit different. So, Kareem and Kobe, if you look at those stats, these are the two players that a lot of times get exited out when we talk about some of the great oh, players. Wait, we'll oh wait, hold on, yeah. hold up. And, and and a lot of the reason why is because a lot of people look at Kareem and Kobe from this aspect. Is that they're not personal, but we don't really like them. I like Kobe as a player. This is a, like this is a, this is a 10-year NBA vet so who put up numbers. That on a dad's marriage, play with, play with Kobe, play with Steve Nash. Is at the top of the list. They don't want to listen to him. They don't want to listen to him. Because look at that. Look at that. Look at that right. He want to jump in. He want to jump in the conversation. A little, a little, a little. I didn't have a great rapport with reporters. Right. How the media hated Kobe and Kareem. That's why they don't get the MVP awards. It's the same thing with Kobe. Kobe wasn't the most personable person when he played. He wasn't the most amenable to the press. People didn't like Kobe personally. So when you start talking about whether Kobe the feud with Shaq, is, is, is in the Shaq. best, is oh, Mark, what? Okay, listen. I have nothing bad to say about Kareem. Chris knows this that I always say. If we're talking about raw accomplishments, right. mm -hmm. Kareem should be considered mm -hmm. the greatest player ever. I apologize that I misread the numbers, but you're absolutely right. He has the most MVPs ever. He's got the most points ever. He was the best. You misread numbers, but you thought you had it. In the NBA, it, it changed college it basketball. Changed so Kareem, you supposed to be a stat guy, but you didn't know that stat. You say Joy, supposed to be Kareem, Kareem, dumbass. Rather than Michael Jordan, rather than LeBron, should be considered the best player ever. He's coming to you can Make incredible argument. Right? Here you go. He's going to disrespect. But the other guy you mentioned, mm -hmm. the idea that Kobe Bryant even gets to be in this discussion is laughable. No, it's not laughable. Oh, no, it's, hold, 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 hold. it's laughable. Kobe Bryant been in a GOAT conversation is loud, but we got 30K points, 6,000 assists, four out five championship, a lead MVP, a what, 18 time All Star, 12, team, 12 time All Defensive Player, nine first team tied most ever with Jordan. And it's laughable? He shoots a better percentage from the free throw line, from the mid range than, 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 than uh, LeBron James, and it's laughable? The disrespect. Keep going. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. But yeah. you, you're not understanding something. From a player that played against Kobe, mm -hmm. played team, against him, yeah. we view things totally. Different That's right. You never played basketball, pro basketball. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant not gonna let you off the hook. Not gonna let you off the hook. Get the numbers. I'm talking about great competitive. Ronnie Lott, you know when he came to hit you, it was yeah. a different story. Okay. And De oh wait, yes, the Deion Sanders. Yes, De as a player that played against a, a played against Michael and played against Kobe, LeBron is gonna let you off the hook. LeBron is gonna do some things as a player. Forget about the numbers. Forget about the numbers. Number. Oh, wait. Forget about the numbers. Because LeBron is going to go down and break all the numbers. And he may be the best player. LeBron is going to break all the numbers. Because all you care about is stats. I bring up an incident where LeBron James had a double-digit streak that's higher than Michael Jordan. Scoring 10 points in, in like 500-plus games. He get hurt against the Atlanta Hawks. He hurts his ankle. He leaves, he leaves the game for, uh, I think, the call time out. He comes back in the game. He shoots a three in the corner. Shoots three, three, go, go up to, he had seven points at the time. He goes up. 
shoot the three. He goes to 10 points to keep the streak alive. He exits the game, and then he missed time. Stat pattern at his best. What we seen this last season? Just stat pattern. Stat pattern at his finals. Let's keep going. But from a player's perspective, when you play against a Michael... Another thing I brought up in the video. Another thing I brought up in the video last time. I said, LeBron James came in lead as no one's repping to a sorry team. To a sorry team. His first two years, he averaged 24 and a half. 20 his first year. That's professional grade. And 28 the second year. Michael Jordan. 28 the second year, so he was able to come in and average 24 and a half his first year. Kobe is on a bench, averaged 11 and a half points his first two years. So LeBron had been having, having to score more points and have a high scoring average. That is a, the big factor to that. But go ahead, Jim Jackson. When you play against a Kobe Bryant, it's a whole different level of competition. Okay, but this, and obviously, I can't tell you what No, you cannot, because you're a fucking about. fanboy. You're correct on that. Or Michael Jordan. That, or Michael Jordan. Or LeBron. You can't play against any NBA player. Players. But when you say Kobe won't let you off the hook. Yeah, come on. I'm just curious. When Shaq left, yeah. and they went three straight years without getting out of the first round of the playoffs, wasn't it that kind of letting the league off the hook? The year uh, they missed the playoffs. The year they're up 3-1. So... So Shaq, so Kobe didn't make the playoffs. Same how, how LeBron James went to LA and make the playoffs. Or same way how LeBron James, his first two years with a Carlos Boozer, didn't make the playoffs in, in Cleveland in a sorry Eastern Conference. How about that letting the people off the hook? How about that letting people off the hook, LeBron? Uh, Nick Wright? How about Phil Jackson, his top, his coach retires, leaves the game, Shaq holds his Shaq leaves, you bring in new players, you win a wild, wild west. It's hard to make the playoffs in the west. You got no other star talent, no other all star on your team. You got Smush Sparkle, Carver Brown, Lamar, and Kareem Karan Butler. And you want him to expect him to make the playoffs? Let's keep going. I was on the team. Okay, hold on. I was on the team with 3 1. Okay, yeah. And in the second. Jim Jackson was on the team Wait, when they was up 3 1. That wasn't letting you off the hook. Who? That was not. Wasn't that Kobe? Uh, again, like, again. Hey, Nick, you can go. As I explained in my video, how, when, how Kobe dismantled Charles Barkley argument. Scoring, trying to score 50 points against the Phoenix Suns is not going to work. But that was up 3 1 with Kobe not having great out, out score, out, out, uh, scoring output. He, he, he just did. When he put up the high scoring outputs in that season, Rex sees 50 they lost. In the game six against uh, Phoenix, 50 points they lost. So go ahead, Nick Wright. Keep, let, me, let me keep the buck in your dumb shit. Go to that all you want. Again, I'm telling you from a player's perspective, and I'm a LeBron fan. Well, then what was it? I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a LeBron fan. So then but tell I, me. But, I, but the, the argument you always have is about stats. No, I yes, it is. No, 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 yes, no, you do. The argument you're saying is about stats. I'm telling you from a play. That's why a lot of players, when we talk about who's the best, a lot of times it's a debate because we have to compete against these guys and we see them on a day-to-day -day okay. basis. So then... So Nick Wright refused to be, refused to leave an NBA star of his dumbass want, uh, analytics because he have an agenda. He's on LeBron James payroll as well, so he has an agenda and, and an ownership to make LeBron look good in the media. That's why they put in these hot seats. And somebody that played against Jordan and Kobe and LeBron telling you who's better, and you don't want to listen. But go ahead. So, Explain it to me. You were there. So I was Kobe, there. So Kobe, if people forget, before mm -hmm. Powell got there, after Shaq left. Three straight years. He bring up Paul Gasol like Paul Gasol can read my dude Jabbar. He bring up Paul Gasol like, who was Paul Gasol? Anybody on my YouTube channel, do y'all know who Paul Gasol was? Paul Gasol never averaged over 22 points a game. Chris Bosh did that plenty of times in his career. Kevin Love was a baller. LeBron had all the players on his team. But we bring up Paul Gasol like he's some type of great guard, like basketball. Dude made one all-star team for Kobe. And all the rest of his all-star team will wake up with three. But go ahead, nigga, right? The right. peak of his prime, mm -hmm. one year they missed the playoffs, back-to-back -back years they get bounced in the first round. One of those years, they were the original, blew a 3-1 lead. They're up 3-1 on Phoenix in the first round. You're no, on so he want to be cute. He want to say they're the original blow a 3-1 lead. Actually, tell people at home, Phoenix was the second seed, Kobe was the seventh seed. Phoenix was favoring that series. You can't make this, this nigga disposing the seventh. He, he's done that today. Nigga. The, the, when they lost back to back in the first round, Phoenix was the second seed and Lakers was the seventh. Phoenix was the second seed, Lakers was the seventh seed. So who's the favorite, dumb white? Who's the favorite, you dumb ass white? But go ahead. Yes, I am exactly right. So, so it's Nick Wright, who is Kobe? Give me Kobe players: Lamar Odom, Smush Parker, Kwame Brown. That team is just as bad as the LeBron James team. He he drove to the finals in the 07. 
final, in the 07 finals. But go ahead, nigga, right? Kobe in game seven is pissed. But they won't tell you that the Wild Wild West, we had to win almost 50. You have to win 50 games to be a top six seed. In the East, you can win 40 some games to be a top six seed. But go ahead, nigga, right? Again, to close out game, won't shoot the ball in the second half. Right. You are saying he never let guys off the hook. Right. If that's not letting guys off the hook, what is? Uh, can we go back to LeBron in Boston? Hold on. Can, we, can we go back to LeBron when he didn't play well against Dallas? Hold on. Hold on. But okay, what are you talking about? If you, you got to answer my I'm question. I'm, I'm, I'm answering your question. If you're going to compare Kobe. We can't answer that question because you because you don't want to you, you don't want to bring up LeBron against Boston, LeBron against Dallas. If Kobe not nobody off the hook. He has a whole video going on Charles Black inside the NBA, the number one NBA show in the world, explaining people. I didn't, he had he was he, he was fifty percent from the field. He scored twenty four points that game. They getting blew out. They getting blew out at halftime. People don't understand. They getting blew out at halftime. They getting blew out already. Kobe said, "I need to get my teammates involved. Maybe we can get back into this game." We got to start playing defense. I, I got to pass the ball to get my guys some open shot to get their they morale up on the offense end so they can have energy on the defense end so we can stop Phoenix. That's how you stop. That's how you beat Phoenix on defense, locking them down. But Nick Wright, he don't know basketball. He just want to argue. Wait, to let not, what about LeBron and Dallas? Listen, I have said time and time again, what? LeBron's series against the Mavs is the biggest black mark of so, so, all so, time. Oh, it's now you wait a second. What happened with Kobe, though? Just yeah. quickly. So listen. Is that the biggest all? Is Nick Wright said that's the biggest black mark by any superstar, so he can't be the GOAT because Jordan had it on his resume. Kobe don't have it on his resume, but go ahead. Nick Wright. Go ahead, go ahead, Jim. That's explain to these when fools. I was on the bench sitting there, I couldn't believe it. Okay. Okay, I couldn't, no, I couldn't believe it because you had an anomaly where Kobe mm -hmm. was so focused in. I'm going to go back to our coaching staff, too, at that particular time. Great point, great point, Jim Jackson. Is Because uh, people, people forget about coaching. They don't bring up coaching, but a, a player was on a team is going to explain to you why coaching matters. That didn't make adjustments to the Phoenix Suns, okay? I'm on the team. The Phoenix Suns, that's the second seed in the West. Who was the favorite in that series? But go ahead. Hey, I knew what Phoenix was going to do. Mm -hmm. We didn't make adjustments when we were through one. I'm going to be honest with you. I said, if we don't win game five, mm -hmm. there's going to be problems. At game six, when we were at home in LA, I said, we better win this because in game seven, it's not going to happen. And it didn't happen. So we always have an anomaly. We can point to anybody's career when Magic Johnson turned the basketball over. Right. When they had questions. Larry Bird so, had eight like, exactly. Two, so we, six, we can five, always six. go and, and nitpick somebody's okay, career. But, then, but, but I'm telling you from a Nick, I'm telling you from a player's perspective of how we view players. Jim, and I can't tell you you're right. wrong about how you view it, but if you're telling me that you, you want to disregard all the numbers. I didn't say I didn't say disregard all the numbers. I told you that. LeBron probably will break and have all the best statistics right. in the world. And I'm giving you an example of a player that's played in three different decades, that played against Michael, mm -hmm. different, a whole different thing, mm -hmm. played against Kobe, totally different approach, and played against LeBron. As a player, we view as a player differently than number. Okay, I, I, you I have a heart understand attack. that, Jim. Okay, you don't, you don't understand that. Don't get to do Wait, is say the way Jim Jackson views it is the way all players. No, no, I said, and I'm, I'm and giving you my. Okay, let me, let me give you my. Let me give you my. I got it. LeBron lets him off the hook, and Kobe doesn't let him off the hook. And we can disregard the fact that Kobe was the best player in the world for maybe one year, and we can disregard. Oh, time out, time out. Let me let me explain something. In 2006, he, when Steve won, Nash won the back back MVP, Kobe should have won the MVP. What they, that, that Kobe year, should, I don't, the numbers speak, the, I was on the field, hold wait, hold wait, Nick, I was on the team with Steve Nash mm -hmm. when he won back to back. Got it. The best player in the league was Kobe Bryant. Okay, and I'm just curious, what happened with Lakers that year? I you lost. I got traded. I was on the team. No, no, no. Right. I was on the team. The, Steve Nash the, was hit statistically at the number, but Kobe was still no, no, the no. The Lakers that year, they lost in the in the West. No, no, we, we lost to Phoenix that year. Oh, they lost in the first round. Okay. Yes. All right, I so was the, on the, the team. So with both. So the team with the best player in the world didn't get out of the first round. And right. that's what you're telling me. Yeah. Okay, well that's an anomaly in NBA history. The idea that in this sport, you have the best player in the world okay. I, and you can't get out of the first round. And the idea when you talk about Kobe and say we can't disregard right. the numbers or just talk about how it felt like playing with him or playing against him. It also disregards the fact that we gloss over the things that for every other great player, for every other guy that's in the discussion, are mandatory. Multiple right. MVPs, show them to me. How about being the best player on a championship team at least three times? Show it to me. You can't do that with Kobe. I'm going to tell you that. So listen, <laughs> Nick Wright is so fucking dummy. 
<laughs> Nick Wright is a fucking idiot. You, you see how he, he tried to say, well, mandatory. Nobody in the history of basketball is no criteria. They ever said this nigga need most MVP three times to be the best player on the championship team. <laughs> He's just making that shit like LeBron has that. He's just making that shit like LeBron got multiple MVP. And LeBron, at this time, was a three-time finals MVP, three-time, three champions, so he got three finals MVP. He said, it showed you because Kobe don't got it. And, and, and Jim Jackson just debunked it right there. He said, Kobe was the best player in the league in the 05, 06 season and should have been the MVP, but Steve Nash got it. So they gave him multiple MVPs. <laughs> and he just made up the shit. It's mandatory for, for the Billy Goku. You got to have three final MVPs because LeBron now got three final MVPs. <laughs> He just made that shit up on live TV. Nigga, you are stupid. It, it, and then he said Cole was the was the best player in the, in the, in the NBA for one season. But you got, I'm, I'm going to have a video about that. I'm, I'm going to debunk his dumb ass. When Stephon Gunny called him the, the, the best player, Re, uh, Reggie Miller, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley, Shaq, uh, David Stern, the commissioner. That was from the 08 to 010. That was three-year period. So when you, so he wasn't the best player for, for one season, you so let me give you a Kobe. Let me give you a five-year stretch for Kobe. I'm, I think Kobe was the best player, started from the 2001 season all the way to 2010. But let me, let me just give you a stretch run. From 05-06, 35 points a game, scoring title. From 06-07, scoring title, a scoring title. That's two back-to-back -back scoring titles. Then the next season, MVP of the league. That's three years in a row. That's domination. Fourth year, fourth year stretch, championship, final MVP against Atlanta Magic. Fifth year. Five game winning shots in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the regular season, twenty seven a night. Finals MVP again. That's a five year run. If you so every criteria right here by LeBron and Drake. LeBron was the best. So LeBron ain't so he, he say the best player in the world, the best player in the world got bounced in the first round. That's the anomaly. It never happens. When LeBron went to LA, everybody saying he was the best player in the world. He did. He even didn't make. He didn't even make the playoffs. Nick Wright, look at you. Look at your face. That's how stupid you look. That's how stupid you sound. That's how stupid you are. But anyway. I just gave you a five-year stretch where any other player in the league, they'll have been considered at the, 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 a five-year straight the best player in the league. Two scoring titles in a row. After the two scoring titles, uh, MVP. After the MVP, two championships. That's a five-year stretch. That's indubitably the best player in the league. And everybody in the media was saying it. All the players were saying it, like Jim Jackson keeps saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait on too long. I wanted to watch this video and how foolish this guy sound, how stupid he is. And he's exposed for the rest of his fucking time. Y'all like to subscribe. Make sure y'all watch all the way through.